All right, so NFL Week 13 Super Contest picks our best bets for the week against the spread last week. Chris, I went 0-5 last week. In 5 to oh, dreadful. And even with the 0-5, I am still 34-26 and 26 against the number this season. So I've been okay. You are sitting at 27-26-2 on the year. I will go ahead and start off with my first pick, and I'm taking the Pats plus three at the Bills. I think they win the game outright, so I will certainly, certainly take the head start there. Uh, give me the Patriots and Mac Jones with that defense. I'm I'm all over it. Give me the Pats plus three. All right. We're going to agree on that one. I'll give you my second pick, my second pick, my favorite pick, 49ers minus three and a half at the Seahawks. I think the Seahawks team is dead. And I think I- this 49ers team is rolling. I, yeah, I could totally see that. I could totally see that. My next one will be Sunday night. I'm taking the Broncos plus 10 at the Chiefs. I think this should be more like a touchdown. The Broncos have looked significantly better here lately. Like you said, defense is rolling. Give me the Broncos plus the 10 to keep this a uh, relatively tight ball game. All right, I'm going with the team that hasn't looked great against the team that's looked god-awful. The Rams need a win in the most desperate way, and the Jaguars are just a slump buster to give it to you. I am laying third. Points and I don't know that it matters. I think this Jaguars team was bad, and I think the Rams are gonna kick the crap out of them. That Rams team is at home for that one, right? Yes, sir. That's yeah, in LA. That that would make sense. And that'll be a real home game because Jacksonville fans ain't gonna come out to it. No, nah, that does make sense. That Chargers game that we just talked about, Chargers Bengals. I'm gonna take the plus yep. three with the Chargers. Uh I don't think the Bengals were as good. As as they showed last week, I think last week everything hit perfectly for them. I think the Chargers are better than the Steelers. I, I know we just saw that game a couple weeks ago, but I, I still think the Chargers can go on the road and get this win. So I will take the three-point head start, and I would not be surprised if this comes down to a field goal one way or the other, but I do think that the Chargers can win the game. So I'll take the head start. Wow. That shocks me. makes me feel even better about that uh, bang of <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. I'm gonna, you brought up the Steelers. I'm going to go with that Steelers game. I think that Steelers team is dead. I really do. If the Ravens defense has kicked it into we are in playoff mode defense for the rest of the season, then any bad de- bad offenses that they play are in big, big trouble. The Steelers have a bad offense. I think they're in big trouble. Oh, especially without TJ Watt on the field. Like that's a, he he's yeah, a game changer on defense. Yeah. So yeah, most certainly. Uh all right, so Ravens minus four and a half. I will roll with Tom Brady and the Bucks minus 11 at the Falcons. Uh, the Falcons, for whatever reason, cannot win at home. We talked about this just a little bit ago in our previews. I think the Bucks are finally rounding into shape. I, they got it rolling in the second half again last week. Uh, but in a dome, I think Tom Brady does what he does, and they will score points galore on this really, really bad Falcons defense. So give me the Bucks minus 11. Hope you're right on that one. I'm going to give my last one. It is. A little bit out of left field here. I think the Houston Texans plus 10 is way too many points for this Colts team. I, I don't, I think the Colts team are better than I originally gave them credit for this year, but they're still not great. And this Texans team plays feisty. I'm not saying they're going to win the game, but they haven't been getting blown out by anybody. Now, you, you're not wrong about that, especially when Tyrod came back. This team fights. Again, okay, you got a bunch of, a bunch of no names. That I don't think really that fighting. coach is very good, but man, they play hard for him. Yes, they, they play do. real hard for him. Yes, they do. And, and I, I'm not laying double digits to him with any team, much less a team that is absolutely capable of turning the ball over three or four times in one game. Oh, you certainly got that right. Uh, last game for me, I think the Giants' win over the Eagles last week was a little bit fluky, and the Dolphins seem to have rounded a corner here lately. They have. <laughs> They've been winning some ball games. They've been looking better since Tua came back from injury. They're getting some other guys healthy again. The offensive line looks better. Uh, I will take the Dolphins to cover three at home against the New York Giants. You get the Giants out of the cold, bring them down into the heat a little bit in December, and and I think the Dolphins can cover the three points. Good boy. Yeah, so let's, let's do our little recap here. Uh, I'm going to ride Patriots plus three, Broncos plus ten, Chargers plus three, Bucks minus 11, and the Dolphins minus three. Chris, you are riding Patriots plus three, 49ers minus three and a half, uh, the Rams minus 13, Ravens minus four and a half, and the Texans to cover plus 10 against the Colts. All that sound right? 
Yes, sir. Perfect. All right, it's been a long show. Let me go ahead and let you out of here, and I will round this thing up. See you, buddy. All right, later, buddy. All right. That is going to be the end of Winning Cures Everything for the Wednesday edition of the show. We appreciate you hanging out for so long. I know it's been an hour and 20 minutes almost, whatever it is. Let me go ahead and tell you. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you have not already, we are trying to hit that goal. We're very, very close. So hopefully you will knock it out for us. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure and like the video. Share it out. Tell your friends. Jump into the comments. All of that stuff that you already know to do. And if you're listening on the podcast and you're not already subscribed, make sure and subscribe over there as well. We are attempting to build a an empire from the ground up. We're just some local guys that enjoy talking sports that have been doing this for quite some time. So do us a favor, hit subscribe, share the show out, tell your friends, all of that. Uh, go over to BetUS. They are the sponsor for the show. They are America's premier sports book. They are where the game begins. There is a link in the description you can sign up over there. Of course, BetUS.com, where the game begins. I host the BetUS College Football Show. Chris hosts the Bookmaker Review College Football Show. Uh, the links are in the description for those as well. And, of course, make sure and follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff. We enjoy talking to everybody that wants to be a part of the show. And we certainly thank you for watching, listening, however you consume the product. We really enjoy doing this, and, and hopefully you enjoy it as well. With that said, we're going to get out of here. You guys take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and hopefully, all of you tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.